What? Who are you? I think you should watch out while you put into your coffee. Well, who are you? My name is Tay, and I'm trying to help people who are unconsciously taking bad stuff. Well, what is the bad stuff I'm taking then? Coffee mate, you just put into your cup. What? I think you misunderstood something. This coffee mate said trans fat zero grams. I know trans fat is bad for us, so I washed this out. So leave me alone, okay? I think you need some lecture. Come with me. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about cis trans isomers. What? Why? Because it relates to trans fat. So cis trans isomers take lots of places in organic chemistry. First of all, cis trans isomers result from restricted rotation, which can be caused by double bond or by a cyclic structure. I will talk why there is restrict restricted rotation. Carbon single bond can freely rotate because only sigma bond is overlapping. Compared to that, double bond cannot rotate because when there is double bond, the overlap of p orbitals and pi bond occurs. There are two p orbitals which form the pi bond and they must have parallel overlap to form the pi bond. Therefore, if we rotate double bond, the orbitals would not have parallel overlap and the pi bond will break. Did you understand? I think so. Okay, so under, I understood that restricted rotation because of double bonds result in cis trans isomers. So, what are cis trans isomers then? Okay, so the cis isomer has the hydrogens on the same side of the double bond, while the trans isomer has the hydrogens on opposite side of the double bond. Can you tell the difference between these pictures? In the left drawing, the hydrogens are in same side and in the right drawing, hydrogens are in the opposite side. Good! So, this is cis isomer and this is trans isomer. Now, let's talk about how cis trans isomers relate to our daily life. I think many people have heard of cis fatty acids and trans fatty acids. As a review of definition of cis trans isomers, a cis fatty acid has its hydrogens on the same side of the double bond, and a trans fatty acid has its hydrogens on the opposite side of the double bond. Okay, here, here are two drawings of cis fatty acids and trans fatty acids. Can you tell which is which? Hmm. There are bigger molecules than last one, so I don't know. Okay, so I can tell you where you have to look at. Okay, let me try. So here, the hydrogens are in same side. So this is cis fatty acid. And in this picture, the hydrogens are in opposite side. So this is trans fatty acids then. Great! Okay, so now we can talk about coffee mate you were going to take. You said it does not have trans fat, right? Why did you think so? Well, obviously it says trans fat zero grams and in nutrition fact it says zero gram for trans fat. Well, that's what many people think. But you can be wrong. Why? Okay, let's talk about trans fat further. In most nature, double bonds are cis, meaning that the hydrogen next to double bonds are on the same side of the carbon chain which we may not have to worry about. However, a lot of us are living in not nature, but a human-made environment. During food processing, a fat is partially hydrogenated, 
and some of the double bonds that remain after the process change from cis to trans. Trans fat comes from hydrogenation, adding hydrogen to vegetable oil through a pr food process. Here's a drawing of hydrogenation. Double bonds carry a slightly negative charge so that they tend to accept positively charged charged hydro hydrogen atoms. That creates a saturated fatty acids and often fat often fat is partially hydrogenated and create a trans fatty acid. Here you can see that there is cis fatty acid, right? Because they are hydrogen in the same side. After the hydrogenation it ends up as trans fatty acids. As you can see here, hydrogens are in opposite sides. Okay, so that means that hydrogenation is done through food processing and that transforms cis fatty acid to trans fatty acids? Basically, yes. But also I have to mention that if the food is totally hydrogenated. It does not change from cis to trans. But through food processing, total hydrogenation rarely occurs. Instead, a fat is partially hydrogenated and it changes from cis to trans. I got your point, but I still don't, do not get about coffee mate. Okay, so I wanted to look at the ingredients in coffee mate. Corn syrup solids vegetable oil, partially hydrogenated, coconut or palm kernel, hydrogenated soybean. Wait, did you get my point? So this is saying vegetable oil is partially hydrogenated, meaning that it has trans fat? Unfortunately, yes. Maybe the amount is a little, but it still has trans fat. So, you have to check ingredients to see if it is really trans fat free. Wow, I didn't know that. I, it was very good to know. I'll be careful. Wait, it's time for lunch. I'm so hungry. I'm cooking now. I think you cannot complain about my, about my lunch. Did you know that tomatoes are good for you? Tomatoes can prevent you from cancer. I think I can give you a lecture a little bit more. So, tomatoes have lycopene. Lycopene is a part of a group of nutri nutrients known as carotenoids, which is found in some fruits and vegetables. It is a color agent so that all red and orange colors of tomatoes, watermelons, pink grapefruit, guava, etc. are coming from lycopene. It is known that lycopene is good for preventing cancer, but researchers are study, stating that cis lycopene has a characteristic to prevent us from cancer, but not trans lycopene. Lycopenes which are found in raw tomatoes are trans lycopenes, but cooking and all food processing result in isomerization of trans lycopene to cis lycopene. Here are, here are drawings again. So we look at here, all trans lycopene has hydrogen in opposite side. And cis lycopene has hydrogen in the same side. Wait, so do you mean that tomato sauce in pizza prevent us from cancer than raw tomatoes? Yes. I see. I thought it is always good to eat ve raw vegetables. Well, it was very good to know. I think I learned a lot today. You always have choices for food, but to choose healthier food, you always need knowledge. Do, do not forget what you learned today and eat healthy. Okay, I think I'm going to help more people. Bye! Bye! Thank you! Hmm. Maybe I should take organic chemistry next quarter.